Here are the steps for installing ACS thermal clips with rigid insulation. First, let's take a quick look at the properties of the ACS thermal clips. As you can see, we have two types of clips, the ACS S-clip and the ACS A-clip. The ACS S-clip is solid and the ACS A-clip is adjustable. Each clip type is constructed of stainless steel and has a thermal separator pad at its base. Both types of clips are available in various sizes to accommodate the thickness of insulation required for a wall system. Now let's look at the installation of the ACS S-Clip with rigid insulation. For this demonstration, we simulated a hybrid wall constructed with 2 by 6 inch wood studs installed at 16 inches on center, plywood sheathing, and the Soper Steel Stick VP Vapor Permeable Air Barrier Membrane. To install the ACS thermal clips, precise measurements are required. You can either use a laser or a chalk line to ensure your mark lines are level and plumb. If the location of the studs has not been clearly identified on the membrane during installation, use a stud finder and mark their location. It's important that the clips are fastened to the studs through the backup wall. To establish the exact position of the clips, a grid needs to be marked on the membrane. Start at the bottom of the wall with a level horizontal line that will serve as a reference to position the first row of ACS thermal clips. Then, using the first horizontal line as a reference, mark additional horizontal lines at the vertical clip spacing specified by the structural engineer to support the cladding type required on the project. To complete the grid, use the chalk line to mark the location of the studs. Install the first row of ACS thermal clips on the wall according to your measurements using the specified fasteners. Refer to the structural design guide for quantity, size, and type of fasteners you need for your specific project. Once the installation of the first row of clips is completed, place the insulation on top of the clips and push it down to mark the insulation where the clips are. Turn the panel upside down and locate the marks on the edge. Highlight them with a marker as needed. We suggest using one of the insulated pads from the clips as a reference to identify the piece of insulation that needs to be removed so your insulation panel can fit tight around the clips. The places where you have marked the location of the clips on the edge of the panel must be cut from edge to edge. However, the rectangles are only notches with a thickness equivalent to the thickness of the base of the clips. When your cuts and notches are all completed, the insulation panel can easily slide into position over the clips. Use a tape measure to confirm that the panel is level. Then, install the next row of clips on the top edge of the insulation. Continue this process for the rest of the wall. If required, use insulation fasteners to ensure the insulation maintains a tight contact with the air barrier. When all the insulation is in place, install the Z-bars while using the stainless steel fasteners provided with the ACS thermal clips. Depending on the type of cladding that will be installed, the Z-bars can be installed either horizontally or vertically. It can also be any other type of attachment according to the cladding that will be installed on the system. Let's have a quick look at what differs when an ACS A-clip is installed. Note that the ACS A-clip is used when a wall is out of plumb or out of plane. Start by installing the wall bracket to the wall as you would with an ACS S-clip. Slide the remaining bracket onto the wall bracket. Once all the clips are plumb and adjusted to the correct depth, use clamps to hold all the pieces in place and screw the two brackets together. For the following steps, refer to the previous steps for the solid clips. Be aware that there are some other acceptable installation techniques that will allow you to achieve the same end result. For more information, visit us online at suprema.ca.